See question six onwards, slightly they increase the level. I like the most beautiful question in the first section. I got question number eight, which we'll be discussing. Okay, that's the beautiful question I found. Other was simple. It's not that much difficult, but of course, up to five. Anybody who never heard about the IOQM, they can solve it if they are studying properly. They are eight, nine, tenth class mathematics. Understand? Find the number of triplet triples. Triples means A, B, C, all the possible such that this equal to this equal to this. A power twenty plus B power twenty plus C power twenty is equal to one given. Up from here, you have to guess something. What do you have to get? First thing is that ki A cannot be bigger than B one. B cannot be also bigger than one. C also cannot be bigger than one. Survive. Otherwise, what will happen? The sum cannot be equal to one. Sum has to be one, and cannot be less than one also because otherwise sum cannot be one. If suppose A is bigger than one, so A power twenty will be much much bigger than one. Yes or no? Because whenever bigger than one power increase, so whole value increase very rapidly, very fast. So if it is equal to one, at the same time one more condition. They if this is the only condition, then we cannot guess. We cannot do. But the, again they are saying if you increase the power this, then also no effect. Same thing happen. It's one only. So only one possibility. What is the possibility? Can be. One of them should be one, and other should be zero. So possibility is what? That either one a equal to one, b equal to zero, c equal to zero, or minus one zero zero. But they are saying all possible triplet means all possible combination. You have to say. So this the this means can you understand? A B C A B C. So first let's talk about this. A one B zero C zero or other possibility A is zero B is one C is one the C is zero C is zero have you understood or other possibility zero zero one means three possibility with the one zero zero combination and similarly three possibility here also same thing zero minus one zero 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 minus one. So total six possibility will be there, like this. So answer of this question is six. Very simple question. Do not try to think, sir. If a less than one, b greater than one, what will happen? If a less than one, so a power twenty will become much lesser than one, and b power twenty will become much bigger than one. Their summation cannot be one. Understood? So. Power is twenty. That is the main situation. This we have to get, and all power even. That's why we have to take minus one also, minus case also. Brother. So total six will be there. So answer will be zero six. You have to follow. Right? This is the question number six. Question number seven. <coughs> question number seven. <coughs> question number seven. This question. Actually, uh, maybe uh, I don't know. You know a little bit basic of the quadrant geometry or not? But those students who attended the class, I told the vector also. So, if there are two points x1, y1, z1, and x2, y2, z2, right? Two points are there. This two point. The distance between these two point x1, y1. Let's say call it uh, this is the a. Let's call this name is b. Suppose this is the a point and this is your b point. So this distance, a b distance, will be nothing but root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square plus z1 minus z2 whole square. This is the distance between two points. Understood my point? This is the distance between. If you are, I mean, I cannot explain all the things here because just we are discussing the things. But this is a simple coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry, you can say 3D geometry. So they are saying that to determine the sum of all possible surface area of a cube, two of whose vertices are 1, 2, 0, 3, 3, 2. Okay. So first thing, cube. Let's see. I'll just copy paste some picture. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is the key. Remember, they are saying two vertices are this. Which two vertices they did not mention. So they, let's call this one as a vertex A, this one as a B. I'm just calling. So there is the possibility that maybe A is here and B is here. In that case, I got the length of the side. Yes or no? So length of side we had to calculate basically. So one possibility ki length of side will be, what are the distance between them? Use this formula, root of 1 minus 3 whole square means 4 plus 2 minus 3 whole square plus 1 plus 0 minus 2 whole square 4 is equal to 9. So this AB is 9, sorry, uh, root 9, so that value will be 3. AB is 3, AB is 3. Now, if A and B is this way, possibility I am thinking, so A will be equal to root 3. Uh, sorry, uh, 3. This is the one problem. But that is the game they played. If maybe B is here, maybe B is here. I am just showing some other picture. B is here. If B is here, so there AB will be this. So suppose this length is the A. I am assuming length of side is A. So this will be A root 2. Are you getting my point? A root 2. It means I do not know ki B is this or this. If B is this, then basically we got A root 2 value and that is 3. So in that case, A will be equal to what? 3 by root 2. Means length of the side of the cube is either 3 or 3 by root 2 and other beautiful possibility. Ki B may be, suppose maybe A is here, 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 here A is here. Think A, B is this. And you know this will be what? This will be what? This will be root 3a. Sir, how root 3a? Because this is a 3D picture, I am not able to show you. But actually it is something like this. It is above this. This is. This is the root 2a. This is your a. This length will be, this is the right degree. So this will be a. a square plus 2a square. So total will be 3a square. So this is the root 3a. This will be root 3a. You have to visualize. So, other possibility ki root 3a equal to 3. So, a will be 3 by root 3 means root 3. 3 possibility of the a. 3 possibility of the a we got it. In both the possibility you have to find out the sum of the area. Sum of the possible surface area. How many surface area is there? 6 surface. How surface? By 1 base, 4 side, 5 and one top six. Each surface is the square. Each surface is the square. This is the square. And their area is what? 6a square. So surface area will be 6a square. Surface area 6a square. So if a is this, so surface area will be what? 6 into 9 means 54. Or surface area will be what? 6a square means 3, 9 by 2. Or you can say 27. Or surface area will be 6 into root 3 square means 3, 18. So these are the possible. Either surface area, sum of surface area will, uh, will be 54. Or sum of surface area will be 27. Or sur sum of surface area will be 18. So summation will be how much be? That, that total answer will be what? A 4 plus 7. Uh, that will be 11. 11 plus 8, 9. And... Uh, 1 in hand, 7, 8, 9, 99. Oh, last answer. The answer of this question will be 99 according to me if I did not do any calculus on this. This is the answer. Answer of this question, 99. Not that tough question. Only thing sometimes I see in that key, the one two student I talk, they, they got confused. They simply think that key, these two are the consecutive sides. It's not necessary. That's what they play the game. So after the question number fifth, there is a lot of changes is there, right? Tell you. Let's let's see the question number eight.